I will be making a new playlist on MP Station where I'll be reviewing all the books in the Fun Jungle series written by Stuart Gibbs. As you may know, I've already reviewed the book, the first book in the Fun Jungle series, which is Belly Up, and today I'll be reviewing the second one, which is called Poached. And of course, this book is full of surprises that pop out at you in each chapter. Want to find out more? Well, then stay tuned. A thing we know. Welcome back to NP Station. So how about I tell you guys a little bit about this series. So all the books in the Fun Jungle series are about the zoo slash amusement park called Fun Jungle. And let me tell you guys, Fun Jungle is probably the most fun zoo I've ever heard of. Because first of all, it has so many types of animals there and their animal exhibits are very interestingly built. So the first book in the series called Belly Up, that mainly took place in the Hippo River, which is where Henry the Hippo was. And Hippo River is where also the main crime took place. So this book, Poached, mainly takes place in a new exhibit of Fun Jungle called Koala Bill. So this book first starts off where Teddy, who is the main character in this book, is forced to pull a prank on all the visitors at Fun Jungle. Now, Vance Jessup is the one who forced Teddy to pull this prank. So Vance is actually this bully at Teddy's school who's always picking on him. And you may want to know what the prank is. Well, um, Vance forced Teddy to put in fake human body parts into the shark tank at Shark Odyssey. Vance also made Teddy put in ketchup with the mannequin body parts so it looked like blood. So the whole scene of Teddy, you know, <laughs> pulling this prank that he definitely did not want to do is insane. There were many parts in this um, scene that made me, you know, laugh very hard and also get very worried for some of the characters in this book. But I'm not going to spoil anything else in this part because I want you guys to read this book for yourself. So how about I tell you guys the main part of this book? Now by looking at the title cover, you probably guessed that this book is about a koala that gets poached. And that's exactly what happens. So Fun Jungle actually gets this new animal, which is Kazoo the koala. And they actually got this koala all the way from Australia. And Fun Jungle is apparently located in Texas. So JJ McCracken, who is the owner of Fun Jungle, paid millions of dollars just to get this koala and like borrow it for like a few months. So now this koala, like most of the visitors that are coming to Fun Jungle, mainly come to see Kazoo the koala because it's very rare that you will see a koala outside of Australia. Now, um, Koalaville, which is the exhibit that Kazoo is held in, is like the most visited exhibit at Fun Jungle. So later on in this book, it turns out that Kazoo goes missing. Now the person who took Kazoo apparently had the idea to replace the koala with a fake stuffed animal koala in the exhibit. So that actually kept all the visitors thinking it was still the real Kazoo because they all knew that Kazoo rarely even moved. Now by reading this book, I actually learned quite a lot about koalas. For example, they sleep up to 12 to 14 hours a day and can be even slower than sloths. Now the reason for this is because koalas only eat eucalyptus leaves and eucalyptus leaves have very less nutrition. So koalas have to move very slowly to save all of that energy. And we all know that koalas look like living teddy bears. Just look at them, they're so cute. But koalas do have sharp teeth and claws that they will use to defend themselves. So how about I get back to this story? So once the staff at Fun Jungle find out that the real kazoo is missing, they start to freak out. And this is where the mission starts to find out who stole kazoo. And as you know from the first book in the series, Teddy just loves to get involved in this sort of stuff. He loves to solve these mysteries and crimes. He has to know what's happening. So throughout this book, Teddy actually tries and solves the mystery of who stole Kazoo, and he does get some help from his best friend, Summer McCracken, who is the daughter of JJ McCracken. Now, I just love reading this entire book because you are able to kind of solve the mystery of who took the koala with the characters in this book. It's also fun to read because there's so many other things that are happening at the same time, so that means more mysteries to solve. But I love this book overall, and I'm sure you guys will too, so please do get a chance to order this book using the Amazon link down in the, the description box. 
And you can also actually borrow this book from your local library. But that's it for today. I'll see you all later on MP Station.